by Leonard Edison Dale Records. <laughs> yes, I'm the villain of the beast. <laughs> That's a bit of laugh, that is. <laughs> you know, it's a bit rotten being a villain. I have to smoke so many of these blooming cigarettes. I'm a regular fortune to stand a few cupboards. Don't forget it's not easy to be a villain of the beast on the glass. I'll give you my word. I'll get knocked about a bit. Only the other night, I was struggling with a girl. You know how villains struggle with girls, you know. <laughs> well, all of a sudden, Tom Rush is the hero. The fat enemy hero. He makes me sick. He comes on, gets all the applause, and sweated over me as though I wasn't in the plot at all. But <laughs> he comes up and he says, Coward! Coward to strike a defenseless girl. And he goes home and I've killed his own woman. <laughs> but I have my revenge. I take the girl to the old red barn, I lock her in, I bump the key all up, I pull down the blind, and down comes the curtain. Oh, I'd like to give you an idea of a piece I played in last Christmas. It was called The Bloodthirsty Bounder of Battery. I was the bloodthirsty bounder. You see, there's a railway at the back, and I'm trying to get the girl across the railway line. I want to get her cut in two, make swings of her. Oh, but I must have a hero for this. Half a minute, I'll get a hero. I say, Bill, come here a minute, will you? That's not like this. Now, here, Bill, I want you to be a hero for a minute. I want to give them the idea of the railway scene. Now, when you see me struggling with the girl across the railway lines, and I say, no one can save you now, you rush on and say, yes, I can. Right, you are, Good, you get a round of applause for that. Now, then, let's start. Ah, Wendell East, Lance, Dungeness, and last for me. You're a thing three times and a half already, but you ain't my power. Once across the railway lines, no one can save you now. No one can save you now. No one can save you now, you flittering idiot. Why don't you come off? What did I tell you? I've asked you the poor little girl for this time. When I say no one can save you now, you rush on and say, yes, I can, you fatty. Let's go, Dungeon. Now start again. Half the red Dungeon, and last we meet, once across the railway line, no one can save you now. Yes, I can, you fatty. Get off, you flittering idiot. What are you talking about? I didn't tell you to say that. Go on, get off, you fatty. You play the blue report yourself. I don't want to be no hero.